Good morning, y'all. It is Sunday, and we are going to start the day off with some yummy breakfast. We don't really know where yet because I want to go to snooze, but they probably have really long wait. So we might have to go somewhere else. But today I also want to do some thrift shopping because one weekend we went to like three Goodwills and Uptown Cheapskate, I think it's called, and Buffalo Exchange and all those. And I actually got some really cute things. And I just need new clothes because I am finding myself like going to like things and just not having things to wear. But I also don't really have the money to spend on like super expensive clothes. So might as well just go check out the thrift stores, see what's up. Because it's always fun to just like find like hidden gems. So we're going to probably do that after we go to breakfast. And really quickly I want to show you guys my outfit. I've worn this in a vlog before. But I've actually, I think I got, well, I definitely got this at a thrift store. Um, it's just a jumpsuit. Um, and I love wearing just easy to put on things when I'm going shopping because then it's like not much of an excuse to like try it on. <laughs> because I feel like trying on things when you're going thrift shopping is really important because like sometimes it's final sale or like you can return it, but for um, store credit so yeah it's very important to try on things when you're going thrift shopping but right now Ryan wants me to pick out a watch for him do you want to show everyone what we have to choose from this one's big <laughs> so ignore that okay. I still wear it I don't care I like to watch <laughs> right. in New York City okay but choose one um, I actually really like this one what's this one the IWC yeah yeah I like that one Oh my god, I didn't even know you had all those. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one. <laughs> I found this link. I haven't been wearing this because it was like a little too small on me. Mm -hmm. This tag, and like, I really like, didn't know I had this extra link for it. So, oh, I'm gonna good. Get home. See if it fits. You're gonna go surgeon on it? Yeah, see how like, it's a little snug. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If y'all saw yesterday's vlog, you would know that I shot my first wedding last night. I didn't really include like too much footage just because I literally did not have time to take any. Um, but it was like so surreal because honestly, like I told myself I would never shoot weddings. Like it's too high stress of an event. Like what if you don't get the first kiss? And like literally the main shooter told the bride and groom to kiss again because his camera like stopped working during the first kiss like well he, he like got it the second time because luckily they like looked at him and like they did it again but oh my goodness that is like my worst nightmare <laughs> honestly though this ceremony lasted literally five minutes it went so fast that was the part of the wedding that i was the most concerned about but he was telling me that the whole family portraits after the ceremony is like the part that photographers hate I guess <laughs> which makes sense because then you just have to like get everyone and like it's a whole waiting process of like everyone coming and then like changing out and stuff like that so I will be posting some of those photos on my productions account go give it a follow if you don't follow it already because that would make my heart so happy also last night Ryan went to Terry Black's when I was at the wedding and I got his leftovers. Oh my god, they were so good. I've been craving barbecue. I wish I had more of it. That sausage was so freaking good. Okay, we're gonna start it up. What? So like we got there and I was like, damn, someone's gonna hate me by you here, not tell her. Yeah, I know. So lying, I was like, oh fuck, I was texting her if she wants. <laughs> like I was like, hurry up, hurry. Like my, I'm not gonna be mad if you don't answer in time. Like all this stuff. As I'm walking up my tray to get my meat slice, my foot, my Apple Watch is like tapping me. Damn. And I'm like looking, and it's like. LOL, oh my god. And I'm like, oh fuck, yeah. I'm like, hurry up, what? And she, I'll sit your leftovers. And I was like, fuck, now I need to, like, I don't even know what I want now. So I was like, gonna get a Yeah, that was in. actually really dumb of me because I wanted more. Yeah, I should have just gotten a whole sausage. Well, I thought you would have more leftovers. Like, you would order a double for my yeah, leftovers, I you didn't, know? I was actually hungry. Like, I wasn't I was going to say, like, oh, one of this kind of sausage. Like, I didn't know. You know what I mean? Like, I would have just, like, anyways. I wanted more. <laughs> I'm also really excited because this Tuesday I'm having a get together for the Bachelor in Paradise finale. This season was the first season I've ever watched Bachelor in Paradise and it is so much better than Bachelor and Bachelorette. Like it's just so much more drama. It actually doesn't make me super duper bored the whole show. So um, yeah, I'm excited for that. But 
it's gonna be like my first time actually having like people over and I'm scared because my apartment's not ready like I don't have anything decorated really but yeah we're gonna get something to eat because we are getting hungry Definitely. He got some free queso on the house. And then he got the rising shine. Rising shine. Rising shine. Rising shine. <laughs> Yum. We just got done eating and I am so full. It was so good. It hit the spot. It was some of the best fried chicken I've ever had. That says a lot. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> when we were waiting on our food, the manager came over to us and brought us queso. And I was like, what the fuck did I do to deserve this? But um, I think it was because our donuts were taking like kind of a long time. But like I honestly didn't even like think about it because I wasn't like starving or anything. But that was so nice of them. So we got free queso. So that was a great start to a great day. But now we are going to go to Goodwill um, because I wanted to start at Goodwill instead of Uptown Cheapskate because Uptown Cheapskate is a little bit more expensive and obviously nicer quality because it's like more boutique clothes and like nicer clothes than like a Plato's closet would have. Also the Plato's closet here sucks so I'm sad about that. But I do want to find like a fall sweater um, at Goodwill, hopefully in the men's section but we'll see because I want to take a picture of my nails because they're so nice and I have this like vision. I looked it up on Pinterest and I saw it like a fall chunky sweater with like all these rings on my hands. She has so many chunky sweaters. I had to downsize coming from Florida to Georgia because I only had my car and I didn't want to get like a, um, what's it called? A truck, trailer. What's it called? Trailer. What's it called? U-Haul, U-Haul. I didn't want to get a U-Haul just for like, you know, a college move out kind of deal. So I tried to downsize and I got rid of so many sweaters and I'm kind of sad about it, but it's fine because that just gives me an excuse to shop a bit more this fall. <laughs> but um, yeah, hopefully Goodwill has some good stuff because last time they actually had such good stuff. I'm pretty sure I got my Lululemon top from this Goodwill. So, crossing our fingers. What'd you find? So, I, my arms are hurting, so I had to switch, but. Okay, so I found this. It's literally two dollars. It's an Orange Theory workout top with a sports bra built in. Wow. So I'm like one ninety nine. Like, I kind of have to get. So this T-shirt is inspired by Sivan. She's a blogger, and her aesthetic is just always on point. And she made this whole post about like tie dye and how it's going to be in style. So I don't know. I don't really love like how it looks like July Fourth ish because it's not. It's not that time of year. But I think I might just get it. It's this one's five dollars, so I might think about it. Um, what do you think about this? I like it. Is it cool? Mm -hmm. I don't know. So button downs, like they're not sometimes very flattering on my big boobs because they just don't fit. <laughs> but hopefully this is large enough. This is Jack's girlfriend. It seems really fancy. It looks really fancy. I'm thinking I can wear it with like either white pants or something tucked in. You know, jeans. we're like, yeah, even just boyfriend jeans, that would be cute. And like some slides of some sort. <laughs> no, like low for slides. Yeah. <laughs> um, but just kind of looking for some basics, honestly, because I need just like t-shirts. Like I just need a black and a white shirt and I feel like I would be good in the hood, but I don't know. I'm not really finding too much. What have you found? Found these I want to try on, but it's too bad. I spoke it out into the universe and the universe delivered. Found an old navy relaxed black tee and it's just two dollars. Definitely getting it. Just found this shirt. It is adorable. I love the knot, but there's like this blue stain on it, so I don't know if I should just get it. Oh yeah, it's just two dollars, so I feel like I should just get it and kind of like distress it and like make these 
uh, like holes or something. I feel like that could be interesting. One tip I will share is that sometimes when you're getting these like shirts or dresses, you have to make sure that you can wear like a regular bra with them or like if you, obviously if you don't have any boobs then you probably don't have to worry about this but sometimes like sticky boobs just doesn't cut it. So let's say I got this shirt like, I don't know, I just feel like I couldn't wear like a regular bra with it without it showing through. So I tend to like sometimes buy shirts like that and then never wear them just because I feel like I can never find the right bra. So, just being kind of realistic with your wardrobe and, you know. Good tip. What? It's a good tip. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not really having that much luck. I'm trying to keep my chin up and be positive. I feel like if I brought my AirPods here, I could literally just zone out for like hours going through these clothes. Because I literally am just like zoning out, kind of. <laughs> what else did I add? Something new. I found this Nike top. I always uh -huh. need like new workout clothes. So then I don't have to do laundry as often. Is this kind of cool? It is cool. Cool. I might wear that. I don't think you can fit in it. <laughs> and I talked about this one. Do you like this? Mm -hmm. It has like blue stains, but I'm thinking I can just distress it, like poke holes through it, because that's kind of like a vibe, you know? And then I found my black t shirt. <laughs> Literally, it's like two, two, two seconds after I said that and it's vlogged it about it. Wait, what? And... I know, but I kind of like it. Yeah, it looks like old. Just go old, maybe, and buy it for $2. You want to see my hole now? Yeah, I do. Alright, Theater Millar Golf Polo. Southern Tide Polo. You always have so many blue striped ones. Foot Joy. Foot Joy? Yeah, it's a big golf brand. Oh, okay. I mean, I've definitely seen it before, but I did not know that's what it stands for. The FJ. That's um, funny. John Barbados. Very cute. Is that a good brand? It's cute. Oh, dang, you have a lot. No, no, no. <sighs> How much are those shirts? Like five or something? Here, let me hold her. Okay. No. <laughs> I don't really like that one. This is like a brand new, like, cheap shirt. <gasps> so cool. That is so yeah, cute, babe. Yeah, I like that. Here here yeah, here. so cool. Oh, that's really cool. We are in the men's section. We're looking for sweaters. I found this one very fall and it's from Loft and I could totally wear this like oversized and stuff with leggings um, but my vision is to like kind of like fold up these um, sleeves and just make it kind of look like really chunky and have my hand poking out with all my rings and stuff so hopefully you'll see that on my Instagram later <laughs> on but yeah I think we're done here I'm gonna Focus. go through and see what I actually want and what I actually don't want um, but yeah, just gonna make my selections. All right guys, on to our next thrift store. We're gonna go into Uptown Cheapskate. And this is a place that has more of like, um, like boutiques and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Like definitely way more higher brand, higher end brands here. Mm -hmm. So I'm very excited for this one. Um, I saved it for the last cause I didn't want to get too discouraged when I went to Goodwill um, and came from like a high from this one. So I left it for the last one. Are you so cheered? That's so cute. You like it? Yeah. Sure? Very cute. Uh, Looks very comfortable. Yeah, Ooh, I want that. I'm gonna I steal that <laughs> for sure. Lame. Is that good? That's cute. Is that a golf thing? Shut up. Your size? Oh my god, so exciting. Very cute. Cool. I'll take them, shit. Yeah, why don't you like them? They're too thick. Uh oh. I'm gonna try them all on. <laughs> Made well. And I found some Madewell jeans, but I don't know what my size is, so I'm gonna go through all these jeans and try them on and find out what my size is. I'm a little nervous because I haven't been eating too great, but. I don't like how it's see-through though, but I still am going to try it on. I want to do a try-on haul 
at home. But I just want to show you all these jeans really quick. They're from Madewell and this has been my dream to wear Madewell jeans ever since I walked into the store a couple months ago. Oh my god, they look amazing. They like make me look so skinny. They like suck in my tummy. I freaking love them. I've always wanted jeans with the little distressing at the bottom too. So I think this one is a yes. It is a lot later now and I actually took a nap because for some reason I just get so tired on the weekends when I eat and just am in the sun for a while. Like, I don't know, just the heat and the sun kind of makes me super sleepy. So I took a nap and Ryan actually went to golf. I think he's on his way back right now though. But I wanted to do a try on haul like I promised you guys um, because I didn't show you guys what I bought at Goodwill, I don't think. Um, so I thought I would just like put it all on and show y'all. So the first thing I got is this top and it is just kind of like a button down. I tied it over here. I don't know. I feel like I need Ryan to help me style because he's so much better at styling than me. He actually styled me for one of these pictures. I actually will put it right here on the screen. He styled me for this and I was like so shook. I don't know. I was like, you didn't have to go that hard, but he did. So maybe he'll help me style this shirt when I ha actually have to wear it. But right now I have it paired with some boyfriend jeans. Um, these are from, I want to say Nascal or Boohoo, either one. Um, but then I paired it with these slide on loafers. They're in the color nude. And I also got these from Nascal or Boohoo. I just get them confused sometimes because they're like almost the same shit. But yeah, I don't know. Looking at it now, I don't really love this outfit. So <laughs> I don't know. I feel like my vision was kind of like white shorts or like shorts with this outfit and then like tuck it in somehow. Um, but if you guys have any better ways to style these outfits, please let me know in the comments down below. This is the next top. I think it's so flattering because it kind of like cinches in. And I really need that sometimes because there are too many boxy shirts out there. Um, I really like this, but again, that little blue stuff, the stain or gum, I don't even know what it is, but how rude of whoever did that to this shirt because it's so cute. Again, I'd probably pair this with some shorts, especially because it's too hot out here in Austin still. And it's the middle of September. Not cool. Um, but I think I'm going to try to distress this, like I said, put some holes in it and then put some holes over here to make it like a little bit even or, um, symmetrical and just like make, make it like intentional. Um, but yeah, so this is this shirt. I really like it. I actually already have a camo shirt, but it's getting just like too thin. Like you can tell it's just like worn out. So glad I got another one. Next up is this Jameson Irish whiskey shirt <laughs> i have never had this in my life but maybe i'll try it just because of this shirt oh. he's home love this shirt super duper comfy how's golf oh. what did you get what is it ew no no i don't want it. kind of small bucket that's my shirt and pants thanks <laughs> I'm doing a little try on session. Next up is the fall sweater. I don't think it's coming off as yellow as it is in person on camera, but it is like this beautiful mustard yellow. And I love playing around with fall colors because I feel like they look really good on my skin tone. Um, but this is kind of like what I had pictured for my picture on Instagram. I was kind of going to just like pop my hand out, show my nice new nails have my rings. Oh, I also forgot to show you guys. Um, we went to the mall because Ryan wanted new shoes, but he didn't end up getting them. But anyways, I got these rings from Francesca. Oh my God. What the hell? This one already broke. What the frick? That is so annoying. That is really annoying. Anyways, <laughs> um, I got these like stacked rings and then there's this really pretty one on this hand. Didn't want to put it where it doesn't belong yet, but that's that one. Um, and then I have my other rings that I might pop on here. But I wish I had some midi rings and like more chunky rings. Like I wish I had like a whole collection. Um, but this will do for now. And I think it's going to be a cute. This one already broke. Do you see it? There's supposed to be like a diamond in there. Well, not a diamond, but you know what I mean. The next top is this Orange Theory one. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I didn't even take my own advice and I didn't try this on and I don't really love it but it's okay because it was two dollars and I have it if 
like they say like wear your orange theory merch you know but I feel like it makes me look very like puffy like this material just is not doing it for me but I really liked that it did have a bra on it so if I'm running out of workout clothes like uh, I will wear this but I feel like sometimes it is a little bit cheesy to wear orange theory clothes or like merch in orange theory I don't know for especially because it's like bright orange if it was like white and it said orange theory like totally fine but anyways I look like a pumpkin I'm loving it I got another workout top this one is Nike and I love 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 this one it is a little snug, but it's okay because I am trying to, you know, lose some inches so I will grow into it, I guess. Sometimes I actually like to wear snug outfits to Orange Theory because it gives me more motivation feeling a little bit chunky, you know? I mean, that's that may not be like the right mentality, but that's kind of my mentality. I think it's very cute and I'm always in the market for more black workout gear. So all of the other clothes I showed you were from Goodwill, but now I'm moving into Uptown Cheapskate. And probably the most exciting clothes because these are all from Madewell. I actually walked into the store for the first time like three months ago and I was like, oh my god, when I get a job, I am going shopping at Madewell, buying myself some Madewell jeans, getting some shoes. Their shoes are so cute. Anyways, <laughs> I got these jeans for like 18 bucks or something. Literally insane. They're so cute. I love the distressing, especially the um, bottom of them. I really like that. I also love that they're high-waisted. They suck me in. They're thick, but they're also really stretchy. I feel like they're just such good quality, and I have, like, not shitty jeans, but, like, the American Eagle jeans and, like, the Fashion Nova jeans, you know? So they, like, are a bit thinner, and they kind of show every little curve you got. <laughs> but this shirt is actually also from Madewell. Um, it is a bit see-through, so you probably can't tell I, that I'm wearing a black bra for, through the camera, but you can tell in person. I definitely need to get a nude bra, and I really want to get the Skims one. I am, like, all for the Skims line, Kim Kardashian's solution wear line. I really wanted one of the bras, but they actually sold out, and I was like, mm, I never get them on time, but I will be there for the restock date, so hopefully I'll get it then. But, um, yeah, I definitely want to try out maybe, like, the t-shirt bra from there. But I also need to get size somewhere because everyone tells me a different size. And I just never know what size I am. So the next shirt is actually also made well. It's the same kind of style, I'm pretty sure. But this one is an extra large, I think. And I love this one actually more than the white one. I like that it's a little bit longer on me. Um, and it fits really nice. So I'm excited. I think I'm just going to wear both these, these shirts kind of just, like, tucked in like that. Like, just, you know, effortless. I'm just so excited about these jeans. So, these are definitely my favorite pick of the day. And I highly recommend y'all check out your local Goodwill. And I would say Plato's Closet, but sometimes it's a hit or miss. So, the one in Orlando, if you guys go to UCF, I've been saying this for like all my four years. It is amazing. The Oviedo one and the Waterford Lake Lakes one is so good. Um, but, here... It's not so great <laughs> but I think that Uptown Cheapskate Ryan said that it was in Georgia right Ryan what? Uptown Cheapskate did you say yeah. so could be in different states too so maybe look for that one as well